Hey guys, and welcome back to part four of Saints Row 2, The Ascension of Harvey One-Face. So it's been a hot minute since last time. Got a bit distracted. Ranger! Remember me, you shrok! But we're back. And man, did we leave off on a hot note last time. The Ronin are gone. And we're now one step closer to our goal of complete control over Stillwater. It's time to set our steely gaze on the future. Returning to our HQ, it appears the Green Gang is next. Oh my. The Sons of Sandy. Toking up with Shandi, she tells me that this light speed bulb is the son of Sandi's number one product. They call it Loa Dust. And has an idea on how to undermine them. The point is that this shit is all over campus. I mean, frats are buying it by the pound. If we get enough of the stuff, we might find out how to make it ourselves. And then we sell it for cheaper and steal their market. Exactly. Heading over to the university, I'm tasked with retrieving packages of the product from unsuspecting dealers. Hello. Collecting two stashes in almost no time at all. The third was presented to us in the form of a car chase down the street. Fuck yes. We got the stash. Easy mission. Hey, Shondi. Gabby went down like a bitch. Times. Getting our first look at the leaders of the Sons of Sambi in their crazy three-axle limousine. Why? Gentlemen, how was business today? Here's today's take. There are many singles where fifty should be. What? You got that off weight? All I see is hundreds. Everything that guy just says bullshit. These guys are definitely getting high off their own supply. <laughs> Kinda sorta introducing us to the General and Mr. Sunshine. You do well to remember your place. Yeah, that's his name. And don't worry, the irony is not lost on me because this dude is far from it. Is there a problem? Anyway, finding out that they're a bit light on their returns, they implore DJ Veteran Child here. To hold those accountable for the missing profits. Look into the matter of the missing money. Because we had nothing to do with that. Cruising around the city in a celebratory rampage, the cops arrive. Apparently just to forfeit their car so I can continue the madness. Okay, wow. That was unexpected. <laughs> Feeling like I had a bit more madness to dish out. I picked a fight with a chick who's, by the sounds of things, drinking lead. And by the forces of her punches, I'm pretty sure that's a fact. Oh my. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're filming? Okay. You can do this. Punch! How many of these are so? yeah. Oh no, his phone turned into a knife. Ah! Knights of Columbus, that hurt! Focusing all my attention on the madness before me, I completely neglected the absolute horror show that was happening behind me. Cops and pimps, and pimps and cops, duking it out in a crazy street brawl. This is why I love this game. So random. Obtaining another cop car left over from the brawl, I made my way over to complete another side activity. Because we need that rep. Perfect. Deciding to go with another Toxic Avenger mission. I'm gonna need the name of the septic company the city's got a contract with. Why do you need to know that? You'll see. I once again painted the town brown and received our precious RP. Honestly guys, unless it's new or some spectacular thing happens, I'm probably going to skip explaining these side activities. I don't want to keep showing the same thing too many times. I mean, not too much to talk about here. I'm just spraying shit all over the city. Where's your originality, huh? <laughs> With just enough respect to move things along, I headed over to our friendly fire gun shop to load up for our next mission figured we should at least check out our options. Oh look, yeah, definitely gotta upgrade Harvey's signature handgun. Oh, and the shotgun looks nice too. I'll take it. And some grenades. I think that's good. With our weaponry sorted out for the time being, 
I headed over to our next Sun's objective, north of the Red Light District. Reuniting with Shandi, I'm told that we need to find someone more experienced on the topic to help crack the formula of the Sun's product. There's only one... What's the problem? She's still in prison. Great. Yep. I wonder if I'm gonna get another $500 this time. We'll see. Given a bomb to help break in. Um, you should probably hurry. We are on our boaty way back to Stillwater Penitentiary. Making landfall out back, I ventured through a mine shaft of sorts, leading to a generator room to blow the power. Please God, have Shandy be right. Let the madness begin. Honestly, I can't tell if these guards have improved since the last time we did this. <laughs> Never mind. Entering the holding area, the prison was in complete disarray as I exterminated everyone in my path. Except you. Blasting through cell block after cell block, our new 50 handgun was doing glorious work. Eventually leading us to Laura, our expert of sorts. Who's just waiting for us, apparently. Doors open and everything. What are you doing here? Okay, so she didn't know? What the hell? Why? Oh my god. It's funny, as she's standing there, not escaping, this dude over here is like, I totally would! <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Heading back downstairs, the carnage continued as I turned my shotgun on the riot of inmates. Finally making it outside in a similar, but more fashionable way than last time. Oh. Clearing a path to the helipad. One big enough that this moron can follow. I rocketed what was left. And we made our epic escape. Hey, would you look at that? I got 1500. Not bad. Once again though, out of respect, like I didn't just commit a jailbreak, I joined the police force and ironically dealt justice to the populace. Well Gaining times one respect, I returned to Laura's house, eager to see what she could find out about the son's product. Oh my god, not right now. Welcome. Discovering we have somehow teleported back to the HQ, Hello. Laura breaks down the simplicity of the Sun's product. There is definitely some very good pot in there. Leaving us with only one thing to do. I've got a farm to burn down. Time to burn down a grow up. Flying over to the farm with Laura's boyfriend, You need anything? I immediately begin to question our plan as their choice of weapons seems a bit stupid. I hope there's incendiary rounds in this thing, because oh, convenient fuel tank. My luck, assholes. Destroying everything in sight, a few sons try to make a run for it in their bulletproof convertibles. And by god, is this really unsatisfying that none of them die until their car literally explodes. Like, this would be so over by now. This game is old. Cut it some slack. Motherfucker! Well guys, I hope you all enjoyed part four of Saints Row 2, The Ascension of Harvey One-Face. I don't know about you guys, but I had a really great time this episode. I don't know if it's because we were taking on a new gang, or perhaps that little break I took, but these missions really had me glued to the screen this time around. Like I feel Revigorated. You're right. And I'm excited as ever to see where this journey takes us next. This game is such a messy masterpiece. Was that legal? I want to thank each and every one of you again for sticking around and supporting these videos and the channel. I can't wait to share more with you guys in the future and really grow this into something special. Speaking of which, I have a channel update coming soon, so keep your eyes out for that. So thanks again, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
stay tuned for part 5, where it looks like the General isn't too happy about our recent shenanigans. And as always, thanks for watching. Jesus.